And uh, we thought it was also important that civil society would play a role in supporting, but also maybe encouraging and pushing the high-level steering committee of the United Nations. And um, I was uh, privileged to be asked by Asher Rose to chair a small civil society group. And as soon as I was asked to chair, I immediately, needless to say, said, it shouldn't be one chair, it should be a co-chair um, from the South. And I um, asked Binta Diop of Fam Africa Solidarity, and she was more than willing to co-chair with me, and we've been working together um, from the beginning. And we have, uh, I think we're now up to 12 members of that civil society group, and it includes uh, a number of strong men, because we want this to be a really effective group in the um, broader, inclusive sense that this is not just an issue for women, it's an issue for women and men. And uh, Lakta Brahimi and, um, uh, um, uh, let me think, I'm, I'm having a, an elder moment, um, Salim, uh, Salim um, former Secretary General of the African Union, and Don Stegman of the International Crisis Group um, have agreed uh, to join with us. And we will be having our first meeting tomorrow afternoon, in fact, and uh, one of the items on our agenda is that we feel that this civil society group should gather in more of the experience and the wisdom and the views and the uh, priorities of women at grassroots. And I can't think of a better group than WLP within the 20 countries that you are working in uh, to use the, just the next period to uh, really try to gather in uh, what is it that would be most effective um, for women on the ground? And um, how can we bring that then to the um, high-level steering committee and to governments? Because we want to work very closely with governments. I think it's actually a new sort of collaboration um, of a kind um, where uh, I've been invited by the Deputy Secretary General to be part of the high-level steering committee. So in a sense, there's a civil society presence. We have our civil society group, but it's small. It's not intending to in any way um, be other than a kind of um, platform or openness to the high-level steering committee of the UN and the governments who will be preparing for the 10th anniversary of uh, 1325. So uh, we I've already decided, um, I had a breakfast recently with, with Binta, and we've already decided to sort of adopt the fact that there will be a mission later this month to Guinea and see what comes out of that, see what the women in Guinea want to say to us so that it can get through, so that um, we can ensure that that voice um, is heard um, in the um, high-level steering committee. Um, hopefully there may be uh, a mission to Zimbabwe at the end of April, and uh, I think, again, in the uh, 20 countries that... Uh, F um, WLP is working in, I know that um, I can actually see the faces of some like um, right here before me, like Asma, who are very active on the ground and have lots and lots of experience, Jacqueline, in your region. And I, I think it's, uh, it's really important that we use the opportunity to press for accountability and implementation, measures, indicators, measures that will ensure that for the next 10 years of 1325, we build on the work that's already been done. We build on the national and increasingly now regional plans of action. We uh, explore the potential, the twinning that's beginning to uh, take shape. But really, we also um, look for much more effective measures of real protection for women and, and girls and, and their families um, on the ground. Uh, having. Uh, been recently in places like Eastern Chad with a group of women and more recently in Goma um, in the camps there and seeing and hearing the stories and most of all uh, hearing that kind of uh, tolerance because it's been going on for a long time, that awful undermining of dignity and worth um, of the fact that we don't have zero tolerance of uh, terrible sexual violence. And, uh, I think I'll end by saying one of the things that I'll bring to the table, and indeed um, I hope that the Irish government will also bring it to the table, is a practice that has grown up in my own country that I kind of mentor each year, and we're now into our fifth year. There is a coalition on gender-based violence in Ireland which involves all of the um, agencies that work in development, humanitarian, uh, work in, uh, in countries, and it also has impact in Ireland itself. The Irish government and the Irish Defence Forces and they work 
as a coalition together, meet several times a year, and then in November we have a kind of feedback and I come along uh, to listen to the issues that the coalition has been raised, raising. And the interesting thing is that each of the members of the coalition, and in particular the defense, Irish Defence Forces at senior level, say we never appreciated how important it was that we took the time to really address this seriously. And that, I think, is what we have to get every country to do, every country. And it's not just enough to have paper plans of action under 1325. It has to be a lived reality under 1325. So, uh, as I say, it's a, it, it's a great pleasure to be back once more under the auspices of this wonderful organization. I know that in the region that WLP covers, uh, there has been progress, but also there are incredible worries incredible worries for the brave women in Iran, um, our sisters in Iran, who need us to be with them and need us to uh, be more vocal, I think, in defending them in their time of great difficulty. Women in Iraq who feel that the situation is not going forward and they're very insecure and they're wondering about the elections um, this weekend and so on. Um, so um, I think one of the things, one of the strengths of WLP has been to create a solidarity of sisterhood among us and it's a great pleasure, as I say, to see such strong women um, in the audience today. Let's make use of this 10th anniversary of 1325 to really make it a strong, uh, effective, uh, broad way of women being empowered and being uh, listened to and having voice and having their vision um, win out in situations particularly of conflict and violence. Thank you very much.